Hello guys and welcome to another Wondershare Repair It video. In this video we'd like to share with you some tips to fix the issue when sent items are missing in Outlook. But before I go into the profound knowledge of that, please hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on notifications so that you may get notified whenever I upload more cool videos like this one. When you discover that some of your important sent emails are missing in Outlook, life can get quite dramatic. As one of the oldest email platforms, Outlook has been brought to us in a variety of editions, including Outlook 2007, 2010, 2013 and 2016. But what can you do when you encounter the mail items not displaying on Outlook error? Well, grab a cup of coffee and sit back as I provide you the answer to that question. I would also like to give this video the same approach as I have done with previous videos, as I believe it will make more sense to know the root cause of the problem before I go into telling you how to fix it. So let's start by knowing what causes the Outlook sent items missing issue. There are numerous reasons why you may be missing some sent emails in Outlook. It could be because of either of the following. Number one, the email was sent incorrectly. Of course we are all human and make mistakes, but the email may not have been sent properly since Outlook was closed too quickly. Number two, if the item you are sending is too old, the problem appears to be invitable like in life. To avoid Outlook sent email missing difficulties, just ensure that the item is not out of date. And the third and final option for us would have been to have deleted the email. Most likely the email you were going to send has been deleted and so you are seeing this error. Now that you know some of the major reasons why you may be having this issue, I will now show you some tips to fix the Outlook sent items missing problem. There are several options for resolving this issue, so I'll show you several approaches that have previously worked for me. This is the first thing you should do if your Outlook sent items folder is missing. Don't worry though, I'll walk you through the process step by step. First press the window and R keys together to bring up the run dialog box. In the run dialog box, type the following. G P E D I T dot M S C and press the enter key or click OK. After that, the path you must take depends on the Outlook edition that you are using. So please check which version you own before continuing. For this example, we will use Outlook 2010. If however you have a different edition, then please follow the steps from the options provided on screen. And here's how it works. Go to User Configurations, then Administrative Templates, Microsoft Outlook 2010, Outlook Options, Preferences, then email options and choose message handling. You must now click the enable button and select the save copies of messages in the save items folder option and then press apply. This method allows you to choose an alternative folder so that anytime you discover Outlook delivered items are missing, you can then save them to this folder. And here's how it's done. First, open Outlook's email client by clicking New Email. Then select Options, then Save Send Item from the drop-down menu. In the Select Folder dialog, select Other Folder and click New. This will create a new folder in which your transmitted messages will be saved. To confirm, click OK. The Sends Items folder may have used up all of the available storage space, which could explain why your Outlook sent items are missing. As a result, we recommend that you delete some older emails to create room for freshly sent ones. I will now show you how you can do this. To begin, right click the Send Items folder and select Properties. Select the Auto Archive option, then archive this folder using these settings. Adjust the Clean Out Things Older Than setting to your liking. And finally, select Permanently Delete Old Items and then press Apply. And then OK.
It is always possible that Adobe Reader didn't quite make the required registry records, or that it's faulty or even corrupted. To resolve the issue, you must manually create the Adobe Reader related registry records. And here is how to do that. First, open the Run dialog box by pressing the Windows and the R key. Then to activate Registry Editor, type the following. R, E, G, E, D, I, T. And then press Enter. When prompted by the User Account Control or UAC, select Yes to allow administrator privileges. In the Registry Editor, navigate to the following location. H key local machine, software, WOW 6432 node, classes, CLS ID. Then you will need to locate the following folder. Once here, double tap on the app ID text value to change the value data to the following. You may pause the video to allow you extra time to copy it. Finally, click the OK button to save your changes and then restart the computer. If you have exhausted all of the methods covered in this video, then I recommend utilizing Repair It for Email to repair your Outlook file. With only a few clicks, you can repair any corrupted Outlook file. So let me walk you through these simple steps. First, download Wondershare Repair It for Email on your computer or laptop. To add the corrupted files, launch Wondershare Repair It for Email and then select Select File. After selecting files from the desired location, select Repair. You can enter a single email or a list of emails if you wish. Repair for email can then repair corrupted Outlook files in a matter of seconds. When the repair process is complete, Repair It will now allow you to preview the recovered Outlook mailbox data. So then you can select what you wish to keep and then click the Save button to save the repaired Outlook file to your computer. And with that, the Repair It application will comfortably fix the error for you. The software is fast, accurate, and of course, easy to navigate. And so that brings us to the end of today's video, but I do hope you have learned how to fix the Outlook Sent Items missing problem. If you still have any queries, however, or questions regarding the issue, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. And before you leave, please don't forget to like this video. Plus, if you haven't already, then please click the subscribe icon and remember to turn on notifications. But until next time, take care and I hope to see you all soon in the next video.